So when you're starting off in real estate, you, you may very well find that you keep hitting this wall after wall after wall, right? And even as you're growing your business, you plateau and you hit a wall. It's just like working out. You know, you, oh, I'm getting bigger, you're getting healthier, and bam, you just flatline, right? Uh, listen, wholesaling and flipping can be an actual beating. I know there's a lot of people in this room that make a lot of money at wholesaling and flipping, but guys, let's face it, it can be a, it can beat your butt down, can it? But with lease options, it's totally different. So let me show you real quickly, especially for those of you that are fairly new, I wanna make a very clear delineation of what lease options are versus what wholesaling is. Then we'll dive into lease options. If you're a wholesaler, there's your competition, take a picture of it. All right? This is your competition. You got you to you compete with a single service, auto hail. We buy cars, we buy houses, we buy mattresses. If you're a wholesaler, take a good picture, take a good look at this. These two guys right here, these are absentee owners. This is all that crap you're sending them every day. What's going to make you stand out among everybody else that's sending them a direct mail piece, right? That's exactly what an absentee owner looks like. That's a wholesale house. That's a lease option house. Huge difference, isn't it? Nice, pretty, beautiful house. I call it P money versus pool money. This is a house I uh, wholesaled and I prefer pool money. With pool money, I don't even have to go see the house. It doesn't need repairs. And I don't have to walk in the house and go home and loofah, right? And y'all know what I mean by P money, don't you? Because I can explain it for those of you that are new, but I think you know what I mean. 